A brand new fleet of fighter jets is coming to Barnes Air National Guard Base in Westfield. Western Mass News reporter Matt Price has more on the importance of the F-35s coming to our area. F-15 fighter jets are the fourth generation planes currently used by the Air Force, including the Massachusetts Air National Guard. And soon, a new generation of aircraft will take to the sky, which contain a new avionics system and stealth capability. I think it becomes fair to say that you not only get to point out the potential achievements of the location, uh, but you also, that's when the competition becomes rigorous in the sense that people point out the deficiencies of it. Congressman Richard Neal and others celebrating on Wednesday the announcement that a fleet of 18 F-35A Lighting II planes will be heading to Barnes Air National Guard Base in Westfield in the coming years. This as the current F-15s will be retired by 2027. Colonel David Halasi Kuhn tells us it was a lengthy process for the base to be selected for these jets, with components including environmental factors, cost, and community support. But he says this will ensure the 104th fighter wing will continue its mission of defending Americans in New England and New York for another 40 to 50 years. We are the last line between all that is on the other side of the Atlantic and over the pole to the entire eastern seaboard. If there is an enemy of the United States that wants to attack this country, we are the first point of contact they will have. Westfield Barnes Airport Manager Chris Willenborg tells Western Mass News the aircraft's arrival will mean more jobs for Western Mass. Of the military and civilian combined, 2,100 jobs, $236 million a year in economic impact from the 104th, the civilian operations here. That's what comes to Western Mass and the Commonwealth. And in terms of employment, Congressman Neal highlighted one key company that could make a difference. Gulfstream is a big employer parent company, General Dynamics, <clears throat> just 25 miles from here in Pittsfield. They have 1,300 employees. They could use another 300 tomorrow. Uh, Gulfstream is a very important uh, part of the economy.